Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver White Ceramic, a boutique exclusive. You can see this 42 millimeter white ceramic dive watch on our website. Purchase it there, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch, with additional accessories included, high resolution images, and naturally full pricing details. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you're looking at part of the class of 2014, the revival of the diver as a modern white ceramic display case back 42 millimeter Royal Oak Offshore. Now this watch features a couple of firsts in the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak continuity. First use of white ceramic, something AP played around with for a long time before they were satisfied with it, and also the first use of a display case back on a production model of the Royal Oak 42 millimeter. Prior to that, only the Yarno truly featured a display case back in 42 millimeters. Now the 42 millimeter is a big watch. All Royal Oak offshores wear bigger than their nominal size, so the 42 millimeter measures across an imaginary diagonal. In fact, when you include the crown guards and the crown as well as the internal bezel adjustment crown at 10 o'clock, the watch wears closer to 45 millimeters on the wrist. It is fairly slim for such a big thing. 14 millimeters, there's a little bit of a slope to the bezel itself, It'll clear a sports jacket or a blazer cuff, but not a true dress sleeve. Now it's broad from lug to lug. The case itself, if you just measure extremity to extremity, is 54 millimeters. But when you include those titanium plots that link the vulcanized rubber strap to the case, it actually swells up to 58 millimeters lug to lug because those plots are rigid. They cannot be compressed and pulled down. Fortunately, the diver style strap is the most compatible strap Audemars Piguet offers. So if you have a smaller wrist, this is the strap you want to have to give you the best chance of fitting this watch on your wrist with security and style. I would say with the diver strap you can wear this watch on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters in circumference. And the strap is beautifully made. It features channels, there's a gorgeous textured, almost rusticated feel to the strap. It's silky, it's smooth, and it's not it's not nearly as monotone as it would be without the differentiating factors, the texture and the channels. And on the bottom, again, as beautifully made as it is on the top, it's paired with a gorgeous and simply finished titanium pin buckle, appropriate for a sports watch. It allows instant and infinite on-the-fly adjustments without having to fiddle with a deployant buckle, which may be easily set in position, but more difficult to recalibrate as your wrist expands and contracts during periods of activity and inactivity. Now, the watch itself is part of the tradition that originally started with the scuba models. The Royal Oak Offshore began its life as a chronograph, so the scubas and later the divers were a simplified version of the watch designed to meet the ISO 6420 25 standard for a true dive watch, and you can see this watch achieves that. Before we jump into the dial, it's important to note the case and the bezel. This watch, because of the stark contrast between the titanium case back and the rubber bezel gasket with the white ceramic, has a very modular look. You can see the stack of components that goes into this watch. Part of the reason that the offshore is more of a machine taken from the inside out than the original Gerald Genta Royal Oak. I love that layered look. The contrast is superb. More subtle is the finish of the bezel in the case. Now the traditional bevels and satin finished and polished surfaces that you get on metallic Royal Oak Offshores, very much here, albeit they almost require a loop to, tr to truly appreciate because the lug hoods are satin. The top of the bezel likewise is a brushed satin finish. We still have those gorgeous polished bevels that diminish as they approach the center of the case and a beautiful polished flank to the octagonal bezel itself. All of that finish is there. Audemars Piguet really sweated the details. Even though, strictly speaking, it's almost impossible to notice, it's a sign of integrity that that finish contrast is there and well accounted for. Now, the dial itself is unique because it's very clean. Unlike the chronographs, there's a lot of open real estate. You can better appreciate the mega tapisserie silver dial finish, which is carved on a vintage style pantograph machine. But you'll also note that there's differential luminescent material on this dial. It is fully luminescent, so all the indices as well as the hour hand do glow, but the minute hand and the seconds hand feature a much brighter version of Luminova, and that's matched by the index on the internal rotating dive bezel, as well as the steps of 5, 10, and 15 minutes. So 
some of the loom glows far brighter than the others and that's simply so you can easily track the minute hand once you've aligned it with the dive bezel index so the most pertinent information is the most salient when you take this watch underwater. You'll also note that the watch features a more immediately available jump date, unlike the offshores, which feature offshore chronographs, I should say, which feature a modular chronograph and have that very sunken jump date display. This one is pressed right up against the dial and very, very salient to the point that no internal magnifier is needed. Now the watch's movement is a 3120 in-house caliber, 40 joules, 280 parts, full balance bridge, free sprung gyromax style balance, beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour with a 60 hour power reserve ceramic unlubricated rotor bearings bearing a beautifully embossed 22 karat rose gold winding rotor. This isn't the old JLC movement that used to power the offshores. This is executed entirely in-house and the finish speaks to the level of pride that AP puts into this watch. You can see this fantastic white ceramic Audemars Piguet Royal Oak offshore diver and buy it on our website.